Hey guys, Sarah from Say Sense from the Dell House. If you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome. Be sure to subscribe and smash that notification bell so you see all of the new content coming out here on our channel. Um, I am so eager to share all of these wonderful hauls that I just picked up from Michigan. However, my melting basket, or no, rather, I should say my empties is overflowing and we still have four days left in the month as I film this. So I was like, no, Bubba, <laughs> before I get into all of this wonderful wax and sharing these videos, I have to clear out these empties. So it's kind of rainy and disgusting and overcast today. So I just wanted to share with you what I'm going to melt. Not super summery, super heavy on the bakery, but I love bakery scents when I just want to get cozy and it's feeling like yucky, gloomy, ugh, outside. So in the Accord Warmer, I just popped in Scentsy's Blueberry Rush. I also put a cube of Crumb Top and Toffee Butter Crunch. That's going to be a delicious trio. And for Vendor Wax, I'm going to pop in Rainbow Melts Sugar Cookie Hot Cakes, which is sugar cookies and maple hot cakes. I'm just going to use a half because I'm not very familiar with this wax. I've had a couple pieces in like Random Acts of Kindness or Vendor D stashes, but I just need to familiarize myself with how much wax I actually need from this vendor because it's super strong on cold. So without further ado, let's get into these empties because there's so many of them. Let's start with commercial, of course, strawberry pound cake. This candle took over the internet. I really liked this when I was burning it. However, I got some crazy dancing flames and I wasn't a super fan of how this candle burnt. So I'm not into repainting the doll house. I just put that bad boy out and will likely chop up the rest of my collection. I do love that candle. From Bath and Body Works in hand soap. We finished a kitchen lemon, which is kind of a staple here at the dollhouse. We always have this. I also finished up a bag of White Barnes Tokyo Petals. I love this one. I know that's a repackage of something and they've come out with several variations of Tokyo Petals, but I do love that one in this spring. I finished one of these is this lab x candles i picked this up at winners and i was super stoked about the scent notes it was called shelter coconut ode but the performance on this was poop i could hardly smell this at all it definitely didn't scent the room and that was a disappointment because i think that would be an amazing candle if it had actually thrown but i cleanse my crystals and my stones with white candles. Most people will be like, huh, what is she talking about? So for all intents and purposes, it served its purpose. I was quite pleased with what I actually needed it for. So then let's go into some more commercial wax. I finished Andersen's Gerbea Daisies and Daffodils. This was super floral. It was sent to me by my girl Amber in Random Act of Kindness. I did like this blended with other scents. Like Fresh Air from Sensationals was awesome. What else did I put this with? Laundry Day, Love Letters. Like I could blend this with just about anything and come up with a cool combination. Then for Better Home and Gardens, I finished Meyer Lemon Basil. Love this scent, especially to clear out kitchen odors. Pear Blossom Tea. My girl Amber saved the day and grabbed me a couple of these from California. So I felt confident that I could melt my last cube. Love that scent. It's a powerhouse too. Um, from Sensationals, I finished Fresh Air. This is nice on its own, but for the most part, I use Fresh Air as a blending scent. Zen. It's really nice for days where you want to open up the windows and just clear out the house in the spring. Love Letters, which doesn't give me very good performance, 
on its own, but I like Love Letters as a blending scent because it's cedarwood, vanilla, and almond. I finished Laundry Basket, which is one of my sensational faves. Violet Sugar, which is always around in both Canada as well as the U.S. Lavender and Rosemary. Holy Hannah, that rosemary chased me out of the house on several occasions. Um, I'm not mad at it, but I don't know that I would haul this in large quantities ever. Like, maybe one clam in my collection would be good. It's another great one to get rid of kitchen odors. I finished Summer Meadow, which I was a little hesitant when I hauled this one. I was like, mm, but it was good. I don't really love this one on its own, but I blended this with several things, so pleasantly surprised. And I had two Lonely Cubes of Honeycrisp Cider, and again, on one of these like overcast rainy days, like I can't even tell you how much rain we've had in Southern Ontario. I should go back and take pictures of the beach in comparison to the photos you've seen of the kids and I at the beach, so we live five minutes from the lake, um, from last year. Literally, the rain has washed away about 40 feet of our beach. It's crazy. Like, if, it, if the water rises anymore, it's going to take out the picnic tables. All of the wooden posts where the oh, life preservers and stuff, because we don't have lifeguards on our, our beach at all. It's just a provincial private beach kind of, like, use at your own risk. But they do have life-saving devices on these posts. Literally, the rain has washed those away, too. It's crazy. We have no beach left, and now I'm wondering, what is our county going to do? Are they going to bring in truckfuls of sand to recreate this man-made beach? Or are we just SOL because of the amount of rain we've gotten this year? Anyways, long story, pointless rant, but that's why I melted some full scents. From Scentsy, I found... Another scent pack that has bit the dust, this is coconut lemongrass. We always have these laying around. To be honest, these last a heck of a lot longer if you keep them inside your drawers or in your buddies or contained in something. I find Ella Bean gets a hold of these and before you know it, the scent is gone in no time because she just leaves them out in the wide open space. I finished Scentsy's Beach, which is one of my favorite Scentsy scents, or blah, 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 Scentsy Summer scents of all time. I finished Amethyst from the Crystal Collection, thanks to my lovely waxies and friends. I have several more of these that my favorite pen pals have sent me, so thank you guys. I could melt that one with confidence and not hoard it any longer. I finished Zypher, which reminds me so much of the original Hugo Boss. Love that sexy man scent. The performance on it was mediocre, like I'd say about two out of five. So I would melt that in my wax closet to get the best performance or sometimes in the bathroom to get okay performance. Pestilitos, another one of my favorite Scentsy Summer scents. Thankfully I have tons of these in my collection. And I finally bit the dust, or bit the bullet rather, and melted my last cube of blizzard berry. I'm like, Sarah, this is ridiculous. Get this out of the house. <laughs> because you have one little cube, it's not going to magically multiply. Just use it, get rid of it. Because I've hauled so much wax from the States, I need all the room I can get. From, ooh, let's make sure that I've gotten through... Yes, this is all indie vendors now. So let's start with Super Tarts, which I'm desperately trying to get through my Super Tarts collection. I don't think my Super Tarts has gone bad. Please don't get me wrong by any means. It's still fantastic wax, but it doesn't have the oomph it did this time last year. That's why most D-Stash pages don't encourage you selling wax for Full price like the price you'd pay the vendor after the one year mark because it doesn't perform as well it's not bad but now I'm sitting on a lot of okay wax where it used to be great because I purchased so much my bad I was buying more than I could melt through and honestly if I can give any new to 
or blah, 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 new people who are or people who are new to vendor wax any advice and I should have listened to Sasha isms like a year ago only purchase small batches of what you can use while it's still at its finest do you know what I'm saying so anyways, I'm trying to get through my Super Tarts collection. I finished a band bag of Immortal Child, which is lavender cream, pink sugar, strawberry cake, go to sleep, plus her happy birthday. I really had to be in the mood to the, for the scent to melt it. I love lavender at night, but all of that creamy bakery, ooh, strawberry, it was hard. This was from my very, very first band bag pre-order. I'm not mad. I'm just... I'm kind of glad I'm done with the band bag. I have a clam. I'm happy to order at that quantity. I don't need any band bags of things that I'm just meh on the fence about. I finished Darth Maul. I'm trying to prepare myself for my June melting basket. Try not to give it away, but I made it through this clam. Getting my nose ready for all things berry. Oh, <laughs> I finished Twilight's Edward's Promise, which is pink chiffon, gardenia pink sugar, and vanilla bean Noel. I love this. This is one of my favorites from Super Tarts. And I melted in another warmer to complement just the plain Super Tarts pink chiffon potion pack. Loved those two. Not together in the same warmer because I didn't want to alter Brandy's awesome blend but I just wanted to complement the scent with a little punch of more of that pink chiffon. From Destination Wax, I finished Frozen Clementine. Thank you, Amber, for this one. I This is awesome, but I think this is an amazing scent for winter. Like, I should have saved this one. I don't know what makes it cold, but there is something in this. Maybe it's the bergamot. It, you just get like a blast of almost like a sinus soother meets orange. It's, it's, it was a surprising, really good scent. Should have saved it for winter though. I also finished Lavender Sweet Basil, which took a minute to get used to. But once I warmed up to this blend, I really did enjoy it in the kitchen. From Ava's, I finished one four-pack of Wildberry Cream Cheese Frosting. From Barrett's Wax Crafts, I finished Snow Fairy. Um, this was purchased in November 2017. This vendor would be my exception to the general rule. I find Josh's wax is, this was almost as strong as it was the day I purchased it. You know, we're looking at almost two years later, and it's still a beast. From Hayden Row, I finished A Little Ducky of Hayden. Love that scent on its own or as a blender. And thank you to Amber for sending me that sample, because as soon as I opened that in her random act of kindness at Christmas, I ordered myself a brick. I have... Sinus Rescue from Country Market Crafts. This is a crisp, cool blend of camouflage, eucalyptus, and mint because I was sick for the first portion of the month. From Sparkles Wax Melts, I finished Lavender Vanilla. This is my absolute favorite. Amber also sent me this, and I had to place an order with Sparkle. From Sassy Girl Aroma, I finished Lemonade, Orange Sherbet, and Whipped Cream. This was sent to me in my very, very, very first Vendor Wax D stash, and I sat on it because on cold, I wasn't so impressed with it. Turned out to be one of my favorites last month, and I finally finished the bag this month. Not, not sad to see it go, but I'm kind of like, why did I sit on that for so long? Because it was awesome, and I can't even tell you how old this is. Like, the bag just looks disgusting. And I think, maybe this is two years old, and I love two-year-old wax. What would it have performed like when it was new and fresh, you know? Uh, Sassy Girl Aromas Tea and Cakes, which was sent to me, I think, in my very first random act of kindness from Amber from Stockton, California. Sat on that one for a long time, too, but this was awesome. 
Um, the tea and cakes fragrance oils are usually very, uh, they're very strong and their longevity is amazing. It takes a long time for a tea and cakes fragrance oil to fade in any wax blend, to be honest. We have Southbound from her Valentine's Day Sampler from 2018. Love letters. Um, this one was really, really pretty. It's a sweet, delicate floral. I would order that again. Heart-shaped cookies, which is pink sugar, marshmallow, vanilla, bean, noel, and frosted sugar cookies. I really had to be in the mood for this one, hence it took me a long time to get through that bakery bag because uh, Southbound's pink sugar is fierce, which is normally not my fave. From Rose Girls, I finished Wild Heart. This was also from my very first Vendor Wax D stash a long time ago. It was amazing, performed well, super floral. I finished Raspberry Coconut Ice Cream Donut Sandwiches from April of 2018. I just found the performance of this kind of mediocre. The scent, like the blend itself, was phenomenal. Performance was kind of light for my taste. Um, if I could go back and melt that one again, I would have saved it for a much smaller space. I was warming it in my bedroom, which is 600 square foot, large ceiling, open concept, kind of weird shape, you know? Maybe it's a great performer. Just maybe I melted it in the wrong space. Innocence is raspberry cupcake, cotton candy frosting, and vanilla lace. I also enjoyed this one very much. I melted this one in the same large space. Um, with this one, very different though. I'm happy I melted it in a large space because I think had I melted it in a smaller, more enclosed space, it would have been a little too... Um, Coyingly sweet or like sickeningly sweet. I don't know why. But in a large, uh, yeah, I think it's that cotton candy frosting. To be honest, anytime there's a cotton candy frosting fragrance oil in a blend, I'm kind of grossed out by it. But each to their own. I'm, I'm happy I melted this in a large open concept space because it was light and beautiful. And I think I just didn't get too, too much of that overpowering cotton candy frosting. And last but not least, I think this is it. I have a whole boatload of little samples that I tried from the bathing garden. So I have candy floss, blah, blah, candy floss stuffed Twinkie sample. Um, if super sugary sweet stuff is your thing, you might like this. To me, it was just ugh. I finished World Through the Keyhole, which is sweet vanilla cream, sandalwood, and musk. This was nice, but again, kicking myself in the butt. Should have melted it in a smaller space because it kind of got lost in my bedroom, even though I cut this rabbit up into three pieces and tried to place it strategically around the room. It was still very light. I finished Serendipity Cream Pie. This is coconut cream pie and serendipity. This is very nice. I like that one on its own or use it as a blender. Alice in Laverland, which is French lavender vanilla extract marshmallow cream. Performance on this was super light, even though I ordered this in May of 2018. So I thought it would be here by now. Maybe this, maybe that scent is just designed to be light. This was a surprise for me, Lavender Beach Martini. I wasn't really so crazy about this scent on cold. It got wet, so I can hardly read it. It's French lavender, sea salt, lemon, pink grapefruit, and clary sage. Oh, this is beautiful. I don't plan on placing any orders with the bathing garden just because I want to use up my collection first, but if I saw this on her website, I would order several of these. So that's it, folks. Those are my empties for the month of May. Super excited to share my kind of off-putting melting basket for June with you guys. Um, and I have lots more hauls and goodies and fun stuff coming up here at the Dollhouse. Thanks so much for watching.